I think if you look at the history of the trade union movement, you'll find that strong trade unionism always uh, occurs at the same time as a prosperous country. And uh, we're not in a prosperous country at the moment. There are four million unemployed. And obviously that weakens the ability of the trade union movement to deliver. Nevertheless, the dispute could have been won if there hadn't been the treachery of a particular union because it was necessary for Murdoch to have a tame workforce that he could uh, uh, destroy a total workforce of 5,000 Let me put that point use. to Roy. Although there's weakness, and the weakness we've already explained in a situation where fear uh, roams the country about your job, that's natural. But what happened was an alternative workforce was supplied. That's almost unique in British history. It's really no other way to describe it as treachery to the trade union movement. It was very difficult to deal with it. Murdoch couldn't do anything unless he had a tame workforce that replaced the people he sacked. There he was, a foreign multinational being supported against his British workers by a British trade union. Almost unique in history. The sharpest of the sharpest of abandonment of trade union principles. Correct. The General Council were told by the ETU that if we uh, discipline them for not instructing their members to refuse to pass the picket line, they would take us to court. In other words, the laws that have been created uh, by this government to, to tip the balance in favour of the employers against the workers were being used by a union against the TUC. Wrongly, the general counsel of the TUC uh, didn't take up the challenge and backed off. That's what made the majority agree not to instruct the ETU. It's I... fear of the law, fear of the courts. Can I... If we try to accommodate to retreat and defeat and uh, try to accept what is described as a new realism, as they did in the United States years ago, promoting the idea of business unionism, we'll finish up as a trade union mo movement like the United States, weak, ineffective and narrow. I don't think that that's part of our tradition. I think that their revival will come both intellectually and economically. Well,